Hi folks. I'm shooting this on location down on the Mississippi coast. I'm at Biloxi Harbor. You can see some of the fishing fleet in behind me there. For many years I've come down here in October for what they call cruising the coast. And uh, cruising the coast is uh, a huge collection of classic cars and we have a 19 55 Oldsmobile that we use as a missionary. I uh, use the theme ruined, rescued, restored. The story of a classic, the story of a life. And some years ago when I was heading down this way, a friend of ours who lives up in our neck of the woods said that her parents lived down here on the coast and that her father who had been raised in a religious environment, been faithful to his religion all his years, was now elderly and uh, did not have assurance of salvation. And so I said, you get together a little gift basket with all his favorite things and I'll bring it down to him. And so I did, and when I got to the house, he barely opened the door enough to take it in. I think he thought if I was associated with his daughter's family, I probably was armed with the gospel. And uh, so he gingerly received the package and was ready to close the door when I said, you know, I've got a classic car here. Would you like to come and have a look? And so he did and was quite impressed with the car. And, uh, then when we got back to the door, he received me in. I had a long conversation, or at least I listened for a long time as he told me his story and, and finally came around to the point where he told me that he really loved Ireland. He never made it, almost made it one time, never quite made it. And uh, so I began to tell him stories. I said, would you be interested? I've been to Ireland many times, sometimes more than a couple of times in a year. I began to tell him stories about people who'd been raised in his own religious background and how they had come to discover assurance of sins forgiven and the certainty of heaven. And I'll never forget the moment when the light dawned on his soul and he said to me, I see it now, Christ not only died for the sins of our past, but our present and our future as well. And that was the moment when he understood that salvation was not some sort of a, an operation where we go to the church and they sell us uh, salvation on the installment plan a little bit every week, but once and forever done through the finished work of Christ. So it's a tremendous thing to have the privilege of sharing the gospel with people. We've been riding along the coast and I've been telling my wife some stories about other people, the security guard who put his trust in the Lord and the two policemen, you've heard that story. Um, lots of other stories that we've had here of people who've, who've put their trust in the Lord and other Christians who've been encouraged to share the gospel. So we thank the Lord and trust that you're being blessed at this time when the world is in turmoil. It's wonderful to be able to rest in the Lord. So greetings to you today from Biloxi, Mississippi. The Lord bless you indeed.